So now we're going to show you how to fit a coil to the F-range contactors. So here is our coil for the F-range. Now the best thing to do to fit it is to actually turn the contactor on its side, like so. Get yourself a screwdriver and you see at the top here this little blue tag, there's a slot just inside so if you just depress on that slightly gently and then put your hand inside and you'll feel the metal just gently pull it and you'll find it comes out very easily from that point on. We now pull that out when we get to this point here to pull this completely out just depress on the blue tab on the outside and there we are. Now what we would like to do is just make sure that it's clean enough before we put it back in. So just wipe the, wipe the top of the contacts like this, just to make sure that all the dust or any grease is removed. Now we can fit the coil. Now the coil will only fit one way. So we can fit the coil on like this, and there we are, it's that simple. To so put the coil back into the contactor, just lift, turn to the side and put it in the slots just here. You might need to depress just gently on the blue tab. And there we are, that sort of held it in place. So at this point, you can just gently push in and you'll feel it start to slide in and fit into the slots. Now when you get to this point here, you might find it gets a little bit more difficult to push in. So all you need to do, you see this metal bar along here, you gently pull on it and then push back like this. It should slot in nicely until you hear a nice click. When that click happens, you know that the coil is in place and there you have your F-range contactor. So now we're going to add a shroud to the F-range contactors. So you will need your shroud for each terminal. You will need your nuts and washers. You'll also need a screwdriver. So first off, get a set of nuts and washers. Like so put one of the washers on put through, add your second washer, like so, and put your nut on. Tighten down accordingly. Just a note when we get to this point that when you put your cable through, just ensure that no plastic from the cabling is touching any of the metal. So to add your shroud, all you need to do is fit it on top. If you notice here there is a slot for a screwdriver. So just gently place on top, get your screwdriver and screw down. And there we have a shroud for the F-range contactors.